best people here tonight. If you are actually watching last night for the doubles, uh, he managed to get second, uh, bringing almost bringing tacos and um, yeah, it was tacos and Isaiah to a game. Whoa, wait, hold on a second. Is he playing against the CPU? What just happened right there? Okay, this Yoshi though, taking Alvin's stock in the blink of an eye. Finally though, Alvin opens him up just a little bit and now it's 80%, but oh, I don't know if that forward smash was on purpose, but the shield break, those neutral airs, just the pressure. Oh, I don't know. I don't think he wanted the dash attack. That was possibly a huge opening for him, but I mean, still managing to do really good work here. 94%, but Yoshi, pretty heavy, sometimes tricky to kill, and his combos are so good. Oh, the armor got broken, but the grab, his jump is refreshed. But yeah, I like that also. Backs away from the edge, realizes that Yoshi's already dead and doesn't want to mess around with getting egg laid off stage. But this is still a super solid lead for Antoine 420. And oh man, the pressure right now. Alvin's been caught shielding a lot. Earlier he got his shield broken, but even right now that down air from Yoshi is whittling it to a little tiny skittle. Oh, he went for that forward air a little, but Alvin's just, if you look at the way he's playing vertical. Recognizing that, you know, because of Yoshi's double, oh my god, but he gets caught on the ground again, and the down B, totally enough to kill at that point. We have a completely solid stock lead for Antoine 420. Oh, and the up air, he actually had no jump at that point, that up air was so clutch to at the very least get him back down to the ground. Alvin, though, he's been getting off the ledge pretty easily. Uh, kind of a, not necessarily, it's a, it's a mean feat for Pikachu, but nonetheless, speaks volumes and grabbing the ledge. Yeah, those throws are so good because they send Yoshi so far out there. The knockback is ridiculous. Just like that, this massive lead that Antoine had just a second ago, it's being chipped away. And when you're playing against a car uh, player of Alvin's quality, you need as much of a buffer as possible. Oh, that should be it, though. And another forward air. That's going to take out that stock. Antoine maintaining this lead. He just needs to take out one more, and that'll be game one for him in the books. All right, and the neutral air is big damage to start. Antoine, though, managing to... Uh, sorry. Alvin, though, managing to avoid the worst of it. Another back throw. We've seen already that this could lead to a huge edge guard, but Yoshi double jump bomber goes all the way through that forward air, and the forward air of his own to take it. We have Antoine taking game one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's not what would be expected, right? Alvin is a... Uh, I mean, this is a man who got second with his teammate last night. All of a sudden, being pushed to the brink by Antoine, this Yoshi. All right, moving into game two. I feel like the beginning of this is going to be a major tone setter. Will Antoine start how he did last time with a quick zero to death, or will he be dismantled like Alvin is definitely looking to do right now? Oh, and those up tilts, this could possibly be really big. No, Yoshi just, he's, it's kind of awkward to combo him at times, and Alvin's not getting the huge follow-ups. Oh, and the down air, he gets the tech read on that platform, and the up air to finish it! A massive pickup for Antoine. He once again has the lead in this game, too. This is best two out of three, right? We're in best two out of three. Is Alvin going to lose this game right here? Is he going to lose this set? That would be a pretty substantial loss for him. Hey, look at the careful spacing. Yeah, you're looking for that Yoshi back air, but just so think that just being a little tiny overextending can get him back aired himself, and that's gonna be the stock. Yeah, Alvin. Uh, Yoshi double jump bomber is able to eat through a lot of Pikachu's move, but a grab will just bypass it entirely. Oh, pressuring that shield up B to get out of it. So smart. Yeah, we've already seen that when Yoshi gets those nairs running, it's a shield just pops instantly. And at 71, a broken shield could probably lead to death right now. Maybe depending on the stage positioning, but... Regardless, Alvin keeping himself alive, and now he's the one with the advantage. 88% onto Antoine, and he's off stage. And there it goes. He waits out the armor, and that's going to be massive. 
Alvin, despite playing from behind pretty much this entire set, first time he's really had a substantial lead. Let's see if it could really take it anywhere, though. On that platform, he's forced to tech the up smash whiffing, but the second one catches the aggressive option. And now we have a completely even game right here. All right, yeah, now <laughs> Antoine gets taught on the platforms. Pushing him off stage with that shield and the up tilt. This could be massive. Okay, not enough percent to actually get the kill just yet, but another forward air. Oh, that should do it. Oh, boy. Last stock here. You see the crowd starting to amass behind him. People cheering Antoine on, but no jump. One stock apiece. Both of these guys at zero. Let's see if Antoine can do anything with his invincibility. Alvin, though, with the beautiful evasion. Down B to get out of it. This is so tense right now. Either player could just explode. That up tilt is massive. I don't even know if he had a jump. He should have his jump back right now. I don't think it's going to matter. He's way out there and a quick ledge grab. Alvin securing game two, bringing it to a game three. That was so close for Anton. He could have walked away with the 2-0, but now the fact that Alvin has this in a game three situation, I feel like, <gasps> yo, all oh, right, no, no. We're sticking with the characters. Alvin is going to be playing Pikachu, but... I feel like the fact that game was snatched away from Antoine kind of... We'll see. Ah, uh, I think the tides have turned. If Antoine's able to once again get a lead here, I feel like that'll speak volumes, but he needs to do it. A dash attack, definitely not what he wanted. And a miss input at this point is not what you want to see in the least. Forward air putting him so far off stage. And the down B, wow, just barely outspacing Alvin. Not only did that manage to get him back to the ledge, but also opened him up for, uh, okay, he was able to make it back to stage. I think got a little bit extra damage right there. Again, yeah, this is certainly scary for Antoine. I like that, holding the shield at the ledge so that even if he does get hit by a move like forward air, the shield pushback will oh, put him onto the ledge and avoid one of those crazy shield pressure setups. But Antoine, oh, 69%. Manages to get behind him, but doesn't get out of that bad situation. And I don't think he has a jump. Two stock lead for Alvin. He is looking so, so good right now. There was a timeline where Antoine could have taken him out, but I feel like that's getting further and further away from us. A back air will manage to, you know, take that first stock, but you have a clean stock lead for Alvin. Antoine, if he wants to sort of wrestle the momentum away from Alvin, he's going to need a huge pickup right here. Oh, but he gets up tilted. So far, the up tilts have not been the end of the world against, for some characters, you get up tilted by Pikachu. Say, say goodbye to your entire life, but. Yoshi just, just a right. Oh, okay, that up smash. So hard to punish things like that. And that's going to be another stock. Oh, three to one. The dream is dying in front of you. Yeah, Antoine getting back on top of this patience, but he's actually open Alvin up. That back air is not enough. Forward air into back, sorry, forward throw into back throw, but the up smash, is that enough to do it? No, he just barely survives, and that means Pikachu's going to be coming back to the stage. <laughs> that rising... That backer almost connected, but in the end, Alvin lives. And with this life, he is going to do so much with it. 89% down air. Oh, this is looking grim. Oh, the up tilt is the option. That's not going to be nowhere near enough to break armor, but doesn't matter. We're going to have the fist bump. Alvin taking it 2-1. Beautiful stuff from him. That was looking